was on YouTube. Don't hear from Zephyr War Games. Um, again, I hope you all enjoyed your holidays. I hope you all enjoyed your rest and relaxation. I hope you all got a chance to rest and relax. Um, so without further ado, I do have a Hero Toad deck profile to bring you. Now, um, I run this in my locals. Uh, I went 4-1. Uh, I have used it quite a few times. I have really, really enjoyed playing it. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's the deck that nowadays people go, you scummy... Um, because obviously this deck can end a board, like the wor the best possible end board, can be two t uh, Shark, two Toads, and a Dark Claw. That is disgusting. That is probably one of the strongest first turn boards in Yu-Gi-Oh! existence. Apart from top decking all five pieces of Yixodia. Um So without further ado, I'm going to crack straight into this deck um, and get on with it. So, I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see. Now, Multilana is very, very straightforward. Triple Shadow Miss, very, very simple. Um, he is, when he's special summoned, he gets you, he searches out your quick play spells, your marsh change. Uh, when he's sent to the graveyard, detached, destroyed, whatever, when he hits that graveyard, he searches out your Bubble Man. Now you play Triple Bubble Man. Oh, I will mention the only thing with Shadow Miss is you can only use one, one effect each turn. So basically, you'd special summon him, get your. Uh, get your Mask change, unless you absolutely have to, you set that mask change, activate it, and turn him into Dark Claw next turn. Uh, now, Bomb Man, he is your way into Shark. You can special summon this guy as many times as possible as long as you have an empty hand. So, the idea is you would, you know, if you absolutely have to, you have to normal summon a Bomb Man, special summon a Bomb Man from hand, straight away you've got a Shark on board. Uh, next up is Triple Tin Goldfish. Now, this helps special summon your Dark Claw, um, special summon your Shadow Mist, and Special summon your bubble man from hand. If you're if you've opened up with two bubble men, you normal team goldfish. Special summon the second bubble, uh, first bubble man from hand, and then special summon the second bubble man from hand. You've got three level fours on board. Now, if there's another way, like you've got like, instant fusion in hand, straight away that's two sharks, two toads. Uh, next up is double summon a monk. You play such a heavy spell lineup, and sometimes they do go dead uh, um, towards a later game. That summon a monk has enough fodder to get rid of. Now, obviously, he can also help first turn. You can bring this guy out, um, use his effect to dump a card, bring out Shadow Mist, um, and then you can... Uh, Shadow Mist will then get his effect to search. If you then have the ability to special on a Bubble Man from hand, or use a, um, or use a Instant Fusion, you can then have a Rafflesia Dark Lord on board, you can have pretty much anything. This deck can pretty much bring out really, really strong boards, and we all know how painful it is when a Dark Lord hits the, uh, hits the board. So that's it for your monsters. Next up, you've got Triple of Hero Lives. This helps special summon out your um, your Shadow Mist. Now, obviously, it's at the cost of half your life points, so it's not ideal, but it does become fodder because you must control no monsters at that point, so it does become fodder for your Shadow Mist. Uh, next up, Triple Mask Change. This helps you get into your Dark Claws, your Ankies, um, and this is so powerful in the battle phase, it's unreal because you can attack with your Shadow Mist, you can Mask Change into a Dark Claw, you can attack with your Dark Claw, you can then Mask Change if you've got another one into your Anki. Uh, triple E Emergency Call. This helps search out whatever um, hero you need, whether it be Shadow Mist or Bubble Man. Um, if you've got a Bubble Man in hand, um, you can set the E call. Special summon your Bubble Man, activate an E call, search out another Bubble Man, special summon that Bubble Man, straight in, you've got a Shark Toad. Next up is Triple Instant Fusion. Now, this card becomes fodder for your um, Summoner Monk. With Toad, you can recycle your Nordens. Now, when we get to the extra deck, you'll see my extra deck and you'll see the build that I've gone with. You can recycle your Nordens, but sometimes you want to be recycling your, your Toads. Um, so when we get there, you'll see that I've put in a Rare Fish as well. Uh, Double Forbidden Lars, this can be changed to anything you want. I was a bit sceptical when I built it and put it in. I was like, I'll give it a go, see how it went. It actually worked out really well for me. I quite like Lance because it helps protect your cards when you need them to be protected. Uh, Double MST, because you don't really have the cards for fodder. Like Sometimes you do with Twin Twister. Sometimes you, if you open up with like Triple Bubble Man, worst ever. Or if you open up with two Bubble Man and a Shadow Mist. And no way to get that second Bubble Man out, then a Twin Twister can really, really help. But with this deck, you want to be going first. You want to be locking your opponent out. You then want to be going into your Dark Lord during their turn to start banishing stuff. Now you one-offs. So one Book of Moon. Again, skeptical when I put this in, but it's a really nice card to have. You can easily change this out for whatever you like. It's just another card to be set and clear out your hand and then fodder for um, someone want if need be. Uh, Rodar, because you never have enough search power in this deck. You always need to be searching your cards to make sure you've got the right cards in hand. They, because it's a spell, it means you can set everything and you can make Bubble Man active. 
Uh, and then your Romrod Geki for board wipes. Pretty standard with that one. Next on to your traps. You play double dimensional barrow. This can easily be a triple. Um, I put in a Quaking Mirror Force um, because this can clog. This has clogged on me a couple of times, which is why I've dropped it down to two and side the third in. Next up is Double Solemn Strike. Uh, one Solemn Warning. One Vanity's Emptiness. Uh, and then your Reflegia targets after this one. So you've got Quaking Mirror Force. This can easily be a second Floodgate Trap Hole. Um, I just thought that with my Reflegia targets being a Floodgate Trap Hole, a Time Space Trap Hole, and a bottomless trap hole, I've got, that's pretty much the targets you want. Like, Reflegia only really becomes annoying if you open up two of these or draw into two of these. Um, so you can easily change Quaking into a floodgate. Um, I just like to give my opponent a bit more to worry about. So that is it for the traps. Now on to the extra deck. Now I play double Dark Claw, pretty standard on that one. Uh, one Anki, again, pretty standard. Uh, and then one Norden, pretty standard. Now the changes that I have made, um, these can easily be changed, it's all down to you. Now I've got a rare fish, just so if you do open up first turn with an instant fusion, instead of wasting your Norden, um, if you haven't got anything engraved because you have an XYZ or overlaid or anything like that, um, instant fusion or rare fish, it still keeps your Norden alive in your extra deck. Um, and then obviously Norden then has a target for, uh, can target rare fish engraved. Um, he's worked out quite nice for me actually, the, the, I'll do a couple of test times towards the end of the video. Um, and you can see how consistent the deck can be. Uh, my other one is Master Hero Acid. Now, there have been a couple of times when, like I said in that example before, if you go with Tin Goldfish, get a Bubble Man, and then you can special summon another Bubble Man out, you can go into a Shark, a Toad, then you've got a Bubble Man left on board. If you've got a Marsh change, you can go into an Acid, clear their field, and off you go. Um, next up, we go into your XYZs. So these are all really straightforward. You've got your One Abyss Dweller, you won Reflesia, you won the Gusto Emerald, your Utopia to Utopia the Lightning, and then double Harmit Shark, and double Toad. Now the doubles really, really help. It, it, there's so many more advantages I got by having two of both. Um, like I said, you can end the board with two Toad, two Sharks. I have even considered bumping it up to three. Um, so that is kind of the extra deck. It's, it's a very, very strong extra deck. Dark Lore with Toads, with Reflesias can blow an opponent's mind. It's insane the type of boards this deck can come up with. So that is it for the Hero uh, Toad deck build. Um, I will do another video. I'll do a combo video or I'll do a like a test hand video so you guys can see how consistent the deck is to give you guys a bit more of an idea about the deck. Um, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, just so you don't miss out on anything. 2017 is going to be a massive year for us. It's going to be a massive year for you, Yu-Gi-Oh! So keep tuned. Um, don't forget to hit, hit that massive subscribe button um, and support us all the way, guys, because we're going to have some really, really good things coming up in 2017. So as always, guys, thanks for watching and happy dueling. If you like that video, why not check out our other videos available? We've got more deck profiles, pack openings, and of course, duels. And don't forget to click on the most important button of all, that subscribe button, right in the bottom left hand corner.